Hello and welcome to Engage University episode 22. My name is Lauren Devins from BMP Engage and I am here today with Tyler Baber, our Director of Operations. And today we are going to be talking about what marketing retainers are and what their benefits are for your business. So Tyler, I'll pass it over to you really quickly for an intro before we dive into some questions. Yeah, thanks, Lauren. I'm Tyler Baber, like you said, I'm the Director of Operations. And in my function here at BNP Engage, I oversee our account management uh, team and the delivery processes that we use to get work done for our clients. Uh, Engage as a digital marketing services agency has been around for about 14 years. I've been part of Engage for eight of those years. Uh, and in my capacity, I've worked with a number of clients, businesses, large and small, uh, when they've been trying to determine what type of partnership is going to suit their business best. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining me today and uh, going through these questions. Um, so to get started, can you just explain at a high level what a marketing retainer is and how it works? Sure. So... Uh, simply put, a marketing retainer is going to be an agreement an agreement with an external service provider, such as an agency like Engage, or it could be through a, a contractor to fulfill capabilities uh, for the marketing functions. So a marketing contain a marketing retainer essentially lets a company expand your capabilities and resources beyond your existing team uh, in a consistent uh, fashion. That's where the retainer kicks in. Um, so compared to project-based or other types of work, the retainer is over often over an extended period of time. Uh, it will often include a dedicated project manager or account manager, as well as a dedicated uh, team related to the functions that are being served towards your company's goals. Um, often that's that uh, account manager, project manager is working closely with a primary point of contact at your organization. Um, and then on the agency side, that project manager is coordinating the efforts across all of the necessary team members associated with your project to fulfill the services necessary for your goals. Um, from a budgeting perspective, uh, a retainer is basically the same cost every month regardless of the specific outputs that are achieved that month. Um, but those outputs uh, and deliverables are typically defined within a uh, statement of work and the, and the ways that you and your marketing partner agree to work together. Okay, great. That makes a lot of sense. Um, so you kind of did cover this next question a little bit in your answer, but what are some of the primary benefits of using a marketing retainer for businesses? So uh, one of the one of the main benefits that the business will get through a marketing retainer is essentially you gain the consistency of, of people working with people who know how your business operates are part of the conversations with you about what's changing within your market, within your uh, strategy, within your goals. Um, uh, but they're not part of your payroll. So you have access to a level of expertise and experience that comes from a marketing agency team that's going to be more experienced people, people who are uh, specialists within their uh, function. Um, that's a lot harder to replicate across a small business and a small team. Uh, so you can typically get access to greater expertise uh, through a retainer while also having the benefits of a team who understands your function and doesn't have to learn how you operate and your communication preferences and your accounting and invoicing system and uh, working with your sales team and getting into your CRM. they like kind of embedded, uh, uh, but able to spread expertise across the functions that are most necessary. Uh, typically that, um, that is going to be compared to basically hiring someone to come in and complete a project for you or hiring someone to work with you like as part of your team. Okay, that makes sense. And that consistency definitely kind of helps with growing that relationship and, and maintaining it um, throughout the or throughout the duration of the retainer. Yeah. And I mean, we see that a lot because frequently uh, marketing agencies will be brought in to 
drive maybe a strategy or help push an, an initiative forward and then step back. And then it's on the business to continue executing or implementing, or the business will bring someone in to set something up, but then for budgetary or resource reasons, scale back that effort. Um, and when that happens, you might have a lot of great deliverables or great initial progress, but uh, unless you've got the resource and capabilities to ex continue extending the the results that you'd be getting through a retainer, um, then you really kind of see that tail off. Um, and, and that can essentially mean that you might be investing less money over one year, but looking over the course of multiple years, uh, businesses might see their marketing efforts are a lot of big spent big spending projects that then hit one quarter, go away the next quarter, come back the quarter after that. Uh, so from an investment and return on investment perspective, uh, retainer tends to drive more uh, a higher return on investment over time, despite the consistent costs that it might impact on the books. Okay. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, so you mentioned scalability. So I was just curious if you could speak to that in terms of how flexible are marketing retainers and sort of adapting and changing to the ever. Yeah. Well, so, uh, I mean, the main thing that I'd suggest say there is the flexibility is ultimately dependent to the partner you're working with. So, um, uh, this is where the terms of your contract are going to drive a lot of what that flexibility is. Um, but one of the benefits of a retainer is if there is a contract level change that needs to happen, that can be a change order that doesn't necessarily change the accounting terms or the um, the legal terms of the retainer so that you it can still essentially be your CMO or your marketing or sales lead working with the agency. You don't have to go through the whole procurement process all over again and bring in all of those stakeholders. So uh, that caveat aside, uh, one of the big benefits that we use with our retainers, uh, with clients we work with, is uh, the ability to focus effort uh, where the business needs it most. So uh, typically we will build a roadmap that we're working towards over time. So we've got a lot of evergreen efforts that we're always making progress on, but the real world doesn't always operate like that. Market forces change. Uh, there might be an acquisition or a change in team or a change in function where all of a sudden now a business that didn't need content support or didn't need social media or didn't need paid marketing support is like, we need to try something new, something's not working, or we've we've had a change. And uh, a good retainer with a good marketing team and a good account manager is going to tailor and adapt to your business's needs uh, and find a way to make that contract work for you without having to go through the whole, well, let's scope this out and figure it out. Well, here's some pricing for option A versus option B. A retainer can really just let the work happen and take the... Uh, the sales and biz dev process out of it and just have the experts work with the company to get the work done and tailor the shifts towards your knees. As an example of that, something we see frequently is a business that needs to grow leads or grow an audience might really prioritize paid marketing upfront with a higher ad spend budget and uh, some organic effort or some content generation. But as that organic engine builds, the need to invest the ad dollars on paid goes down because you're building your audience organically as well. And we we love uh, an example like that because the business overall, the actual retainer cost doesn't change a lot, but the cost to the business uh, can change considerably because the long tail effects of that retainer can help you reduce the expenses you have to make in other channels like paid campaigns. Yeah. Oh, that's really helpful. I mean, there's a lot of uncertainty in, in businesses. So it sounds like having that marketing retainer is a, a really good way to maintain that consistency and be sure that you know what's coming. Yeah. And and also to just take away the uh, the guesswork of if, you know, my CEO comes and tells me that we're now going to be selling this widget when we were selling that uh, thingamabob instead, like, okay, do I have to now find a partner that I can work with? Do I have to build a whole new marketing strategy? Or do I have uh, resources that I can leverage already to help me with this new fire that's come up? 
Um, so uh, if, if that's a problem that's affecting a business a lot is, you know, we have a strategy I'm working towards and I have an annual goals, but I also know there's going to be surprises. Um, having that retainer is essentially an insurance plan that you've got resources who already know your business and you don't have to bring in someone brand new and lose weeks or months going through the contract review and negotiation process before work is actually getting done. You know, that's really helpful. I've, I've personally not been on the marketing retainer side of the business. So um, hearing all of this is definitely helpful for me to sort of understand that area a little bit more. Um, Contracts are so much fun. Everyone loves yeah. them and they just want to <laughs> see more and talk about more. No, having, having some terms that lay out the general scope of what you're going to be achieving and give the business flexibility to say, hey, we we don't feel like we're getting the return on investment we need here. What would you do to address that? Helps it be more of a conversation and less of a sales process. For sure. Well, I mean, that's a lot of great info that I'll definitely um, think about and be sure to uh, be aware of in um, any upcoming discussions about marketing retainers. Um, but th those are all the questions that I had for you today, Tyler. So thank you so much for speaking with me and, and sharing your expertise. And thank you as well to our viewers for joining us. Um, don't forget to subscribe to BNP Engage for future videos in the world of marketing, web design, and development. See you soon.